Hey guys, so some pretty crazy news today. Young Dolph got shot multiple times in Hollywood. Thankfully, they said that the injuries are not life-threatening, that he's in stable conditions, he's gonna survive. Thank God, but TMZ is reporting that Yo Gotti is a person of interest and it's looking like the CMG camp and Young Dolph's camp got into some kind of altercation at the hotel in Hollywood and it turned into this shooting. I was just watching this Fox News report. I'll let you watch the report. But in the report they say they have a picture of this man that was arrested on the scene and I just pulled up Yo Gotti's general manager on Instagram and I'm almost positive that it's him, Brandon Mills, I believe his name is. So I'll let you watch the report and then I'll stop it uh, when they show the picture of the man arrested and I'll put his picture side by side um, with the picture of Yo Gotti's manager and you can tell me for yourself whether or not you think it's him but I'm almost positive it is him. So uh, watch the Fox News report. The world famous tourist destination outside the Hollywood and Highland Center became a crime scene as gunshots rang out in the valet area outside the Lowe's Hotel. This surveillance video obtained by Fox 11 shows the altercation between Tennessee based rapper Young Dolph and a group of three suspects, one of them a hotel guest. Another hotel guest heard the shots and described the chaotic scene as it unfolded just after 1 o'clock. We heard the gunshots, I think it was like 10 gunshots or something. When we came out, it was just all like a mosh pit, just people running left and right. My friend Vinny Omari just sitting behind the staircase like he was really scared. Police say 32-year-old young Dolph, whose real name is Adolph Thornton, was a guest at the hotel. He and the suspects apparently got into a fight that escalated to violence. Our victim fell to the ground, and at that time, one of the men in the group pulled out a handgun and started shooting at our victim who was on the ground. Fortunately, our victim was able to get up and he ran into a nearby local business. At that point, the individuals that had been in that physical fight with the victim ran in several different directions. The rapper who was shot several times was rushed to the hospital. Police were nearby and descended onto the scene quickly. They recovered this gold Cadillac Escalade rental they say belongs to one of the suspects. This man was detained, but police aren't sure yet what role he played in the shooting. Meanwhile, tourists and visitors to this spot are left reeling. These kind of things happen in my country a lot when it's kind of the opposite. And like in an area like this where it's very unexpected, it's, it's very wrong. Also grieving are fans of this up-and-coming popular rapper whose newly released album is ironically called Bulletproof. A hundred shots. A hundred shots. A hundred shots. And police tell us that young Dolph remains in critical condition and, and was last undergoing surgery. As for what may have led to this shooting, police tell us that they believe it was some sort of rivalry between the victim and another rap artist. Now, take a look what's happening behind me. This is uh, just outside the Hollywood and Highland Center. Streets are still blocked off here for a couple of blocks around the center, and they expect to keep this area shut down for at least another 45 minutes. That's what's happening live in Hollywood. I'm Stephanie Stanton. We'll send it back to you guys. So if you didn't know, Young Dolph and Yo Gotti have had a long-standing beef now. Uh, it's been going on for years, and I think it's because, obviously, they're both from Memphis. Uh, Young Dolph said he was the king of Memphis, and I think Yo Gotti took offense to that. Apparently, Yo Gotti tried to sign Young Dolph back in the day, and Young Dolph said no. So I think there's a number of uh, reasons why they have beef, but it's been going on for a while now. Back in February, Young Dolph's SUV got shot up 100 times in Charlotte, but thankfully the SUV was bulletproof, so there was no injuries from that. But Black Youngsta, who is Yo Gotti's artist, had to turn himself into the police because he was wanted uh, for charges that stemmed from that shooting. So obviously, you know, there was one shooting already that involved the CMG camp and Young Dolph, and it turns out that. Um, as of today, there's been a second incident now, and unfortunately, um, this time, people did get injured, and uh, someone actually did get shot. Anyways, it'll be interesting to see what will happen from this. Make sure to subscribe to keep updated on the beef. I'll let you know if uh, Yo Gotti gets charged, or if his manager, Brandon Mills, who I'm pretty sure already got arrested. I'm almost positive that's him when you compare the pictures side by side. So unfortunately, it does look like the CMG camp was involved in this. So whether or not Yo Gotti himself will be arrested is um, another question, but he's obviously a person of interest, so it sounds like he was at least 
at the scene at the time of the shooting. But please make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, for updates on this beef and for more updates on hip hop news and to also see this little dog's face. Look at this guy, eh? Eh? Yeah. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Make sure to comment in the comment section below and give this video a like. All right, thanks.